We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is dragons have notoriously bad breath. I'm your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are at the review board inside of Scarra Bray, playing of the Bard's Tale trilogy. This is the original Bard's Tale. And Merlin and Omar leveled up. Some more spell points coming. I like that they they start at the low end of leveling up, by the way. That's fantastic. Oh, we did that just in time. Oh, Omar leveled twice, actually. Um, okay. The reason I like this... The reason I like this is that since they're leveling up again at the low end and they're, you know, getting levels quickly because they don't need as much experience because they're not at the higher levels, um, but they retained all the stuff that they had before, spell points are going to be coming in much, much quicker, and I think that's fantastic. Like, Omar just leveled, I think, twice. Three times? My god, Omar. Yeah, Omar, I think, just leveled three times there. That was, uh, that was a lot. Spell acquisition. Uh, Omar. We got battle skill freeze. We, we know all this stuff. Alright, cool. Yes. That's pretty great, actually. Uh, th that made Omar actually catch up on spells. So he's level 4. Merlin's level 2. Clearly a much higher requirement to level as a sorcerer than as a conjurer. Or probably a magician. I wonder how we unlock wizard. Because that wasn't an option. Eh, we'll figure it out. Maybe after sorcerer, wizard becomes unlocked. Okay, we're going to go back to the catacombs, I think. We're not going to go play around in the castle. That was just a fortuitous thing that happened. I think that's fine. We are going to go back to the mage place to replenish our magics. And uh, spell up before we leave. Okay, uh, we'll start with you magic compass you also have greater levitation major levitation excuse me and I suppose with you I will also do greater revelation All right and then didn't he also he's the one that has the the locate trap? Yeah. I really wish they could be filtered into, like, just so you know off the, like, off the word go, what you're looking at. Like, something you could cast on the party as they roam around versus other things. I, I That would be very nice. Is that the only thing that he casts? I think it might be. that he doesn't need any of this other stuff this isn't this isn't that this is a in combat thing i'll i'm gonna double check that i already have another spell that does the same thing i don't need that on does mithril might that's a buff i can get to increase her okay well, that's good to know i'm just gonna try it yeah, it's a combat-only spell. Again, if something denoted that, I would be greatly appreciative. Uh, it's just an unidentified item. I think I could try to identify that, honestly. Uh, yeah. A thousand for him to identify it. Uh, let's see if Sir Grady can do that a little bit easier. Uh, identify. An elf cloak? What is an elf cloak? It's okay. A rogue, bard, hunter, monk. Three armor. I put it, I think I'm putting it on the bard actually. Did I already pass it? Sorry. Yes, I did. All right. Just uh, the cloak slot, I guess. The slot item. Oh, is that instead of like the the magic 
cast the, like, the magic fire or torch or something. Okay. Sure. Cool. Mark is uh, a little bit stronger. I get behind that. All right, back to the realm of the Mad God. Weird game, by the way, but not a bad one. Bit strange, we'll say. All right. I guess we're going to go to the second floor. Now, it says I can teleport anywhere I want here. I don't think I'm going to do that. Alright, I think I'm going to have Omar Crab Zap. I, I kind of want to go kill the plethora of skeletons. It's just a fun thing to do. Alright, whatever. I won't do it. All right, we'll let Merlin do it. I like that we can see this, this, the uh, trap on the ground now. Like, physically see it in the little window here. I think that's pretty neat. I like it. All right. Now we're in this weird room. We know that this is a one-way door. And that's really about all we know. Somewhere is a trap near. Oh, we can sense it through the... Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's terrifying. Um, sure. Okay, uh, attack foes. Oh, they're further away than I thought they were. Well, crap. Um, that's fine. I do want to get the Bardic Song up. Hiding in shadow seems okay. I think I could war strike maybe the conjurers and then do something a little bit nastier with like star flare on the sorcerers. Try that. Okay, we got ourselves the luck Laren out, so no big problems there. A lot of buffs going. Killed most of those. Our sorcerer got burnt slightly. We killed a bunch of other folks. Okay. Okay, so Conjurer walked up to us, which is just really, really stupid. Um, I'm going to attack the samurai. I'm going to attack the samurai. I'm going to attack the conjurer. I'm going to attack the sorcerer. Then I'm going to Don't I have yeah, Mangar's mind jab. I'm gonna put that on I guess a sorcerer. Then defend. Actually I'm gonna cast quick fix onto our sorcerer. Yes. Brian killed the samurai, Sir Grady killed the sorcerer, Marcus killed the conjurer, Omar fixed our sorcerer, Merlin mind jabbed uh, their sorcerer for, and choked him for nine points of damage, a little force choking there. Single samurai with a little baby sigh. Yeah, that can happen. Oh, he got glowing red eyes when he gets hit, though. Yeah, he like real angry. A myth relax. Now that sounds good, probably. Let's see if we can't get you out of the 4 to 64 damage here, my friend. They're already leveling up like crazy. We're going to probably stick with this for a little bit and accomplish things and get the levels later. Alright, Halbert is 1 to 16. We already know that. Mithril Axe is 4 to 10. Hmm. And 
what are we using with El Cid? He's got the Mithril Sword. Okay, yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to go with the Paladin. I know our low end's going to go down. Or, sorry, our high end's going to go down, but our low end's going to go up. So, sorry, what is it? It's 4 to 16. That means we can hit at 4 at some point. We've been very lucky that we haven't hit at 4, but... We swap that out. We're now 16 to 40. And we have a little bit better chance to hit, which really hasn't been a massive problem for us. But... But the fact that um, our melee damage now is minimum is 16 as opposed to 4, that's a lot better. So I will take it. That also means that we have 4 hits with the Paladin. Uh, 16 it means we have 4 hits with you as well. 6 to 20, 2 to 9 still. But again, your, your strength comes from your crit murder stuff. So I'm not really upset about this. All right, we're going to explore this. Okay, that seems fine. Attack, attack. Bard song, hide, defend, defend. Sing for us. There we go. Play for us, I guess. Uh, attack the zombie, attack the zombie, attack the wolf, attack the zombie, defend. All right, the zombies are all dead. The wolf lives. The wolf is dead. And a mithril mace. All right, we're starting to actually see consistently more stuff. All right, this is going to be relatively easy, I think. I'm going to hit the wizard. And I'm going to hide and defend. I didn't cast a bard spell this time, so this might be bad. Killed an assassin. Killed the wizard. Great. Killed an assassin. And everybody managed to dodge. Alright, sweet. And then, if we're super lucky, we take them all down here. And we are. We're super skilled. I think it was a little bit between the luck and the skill there. I think we're somewhere in the middle. We had a little bit of lucky skill, probably. Okay. So that is good. I like the warning. There's a trap nearby. Two spinners, two ogres, one scarlet monk, and three magicians very far away. Okay. I, I assume the spinners are going to be something terrifying to deal with. I am also going to take the melee aspect into account over other things and how far are the, the magicians are 60 away that's that's really far away um i think i wait and how far out can i hit you with star flare can hit it only does half damage well whatever they're magicians that might still kill them all right Let's see what we got. Okay, spinner dead. Uh, spinner real hurt, but not dead, shockingly. Spinner dead now because of our sorcerer. And we did enough damage to kill off the magicians, which means we have the ogres and the scarlet monk. Attack, attack, attack. I'm going to go for an attack on the scarlet monk. I assume it's going to come forward. It did. All right. Marcus hit the ogre. Kind of laughed at us. Uh, Sir Grady said, yeah, you're not coming here, buddy. Get out of here. Uh, we killed the ogre. And we killed the ogre again. Mithril gloves. Great. Did we put that on you? We did. So it goes to you now, sir. We can put it on the Bard as well. Uh, the Bard has this all beat right now on overall armor class. I think we're going to we're gonna skip that. Also, when did El Cid get slapped in the face that hard? That's fine. Well, maybe uh, I'll throw a heal from Merlin on him. A little bit of flesh restore onto El Cid. It didn't do much. Uh, all 
Alright, we'll try it again. My god, man. Alright, fine. That's that's what that's what you're keeping. Okay, nothing really there. Interesting. Alright, we got five sorcerers and three conjurers. I don't really want to fight that. If I can get away, I will. Alright. Um, sure, we'll advance on them. Not too bad. All right, let's uh, let's just take out the magicians. We'll deal with whatever the werewolves do to us. Oh, cool! Our sorcerer killed the. Oh, there we go. I think that's better than the axe. I'm not positive. We'll see. I wish we had that before, and even if we don't, we can, again, always transfer it to our other characters. I think it's the same as the Mithril Axe. It is. It is the same. It's better than the Mithril Mace, though, so... And you've got... you've got the sword. We're definitely not swapping you out. And you have a mithril mace. So let's give you the sword. I think you can still use it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's better. Alright. Sweet. Oh, this looks fun. Alright, four goblin lords. Bard song, traveler's tune, hide in the shadows. Diff. Then cast a spell. I would like to star flare the wizards if possible. Strength. Star flare. Alright, wizards are dead. Goblin Lord. Finally our tune plays. Again, it's a goblin lord. It doesn't sound that impressive. I could be completely wrong here. But a goblin lord does not sound like a super impressive thing. All right, uh, attack the bladesman, 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 goblin lord, defend, defend. All right. Okay, nice. Uh, one, two, two, one. Defend, defend, and we said good day, sir. All right, good giant chunk of experience. It's definitely a one-way door. It, it might not be. I have no idea. I'm just assuming. Ogre Magi. Interesting. All right. Yeah, we haven't fought this yet. This is going to be great if we survive it, which we may or may not do. Um, we all attack the Goblin Lord. I will attack the other Goblin Lord. I'm going to Bard Song Spellcasting. I will hide in the shadows. I am going to try to nuclear strike the conjurers that are close. And I am going to try to rain ice on the ones that are further back. All right. Ogre Magi is casting stuff on things. We got anti-magic up. Well, the, the song up. Okay. Uh, we killed the Goblin Lord. One Conjurer down, two, three. One's alive. Two, two are alive. All the rest are dead. Ice Storm hitting the uh, Ogre Magi's now. And they all died, I think. Alright, the double... Uh, our Sorcerer friend also finished off the remaining guys that's great this is this is so good all right let's uh let's obliterate these fools smack 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 and smack that's it how much 5162 so much experience two ogres some black widows and four magicians fine i think we can do that all right, attack the ogre, attack the ogre, bard song. I think we just need the traveler's tune. 
hide cast. What do you have that goes out further? Shock sphere. It won't reach the magicians. Do you have something else? Not yet. All right, defend cast. It's gonna be star flare again. That's fine. We got we got we got some wiggle room. Remember, we we leveled up. We got a few more spell points that we can play with here. All right, and then all the Black Widows are just going to obliterate bit by bit, piece by piece, because we can. Yes. Gauntlets. We don't care about gauntlets. Ooh, Sudden Scream brings your party to a halt. Eight Stone Giant, seven Ninja, and eight... Uh, what? Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, do, you, do, 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 you, do, you, do you think the dragons are going to breathe fire on us? I'm horrified, by the way. Like, absolutely scared out of my mind right now. Um, yeah, this is going to be great. <clears throat> um, hmm. I don't know what to do. War strike, I guess. On maybe the giants, and then uh, ice storm onto the dragons. Okay, yeah, it's breathing fire. I should have done anti magic. Crappy. Okay. That's not a fight we can win right now. Time to leave. Oh boy, howdy. That was uh, not good. We're going to have to go get like all of our money back out of the thing. Goodness, the trap didn't explode and kill us. Don't worry, there's still time for the next trap to explode and kill us. Uh, yeah, so dragons are still a real problem. Goodness, alright. And with Marcus also dead, that means a lot of our defenses are much lower than they normally are. All right, Elsid is dead. We're going to go to the other Healy place. Hey, look, if we survive... No, I... I mm, no. If more... I'll take the fight. Why not? We're no cowards here. All right, I gotta, I gotta go get... um. I forgot, I need to go and get uh, the money, because we cannot afford to bring back our people. We're probably going to need like 30,000 is my guess. So I'm going to get another 17,000 out. Okay. And we'll see how this plays, because that did not go very well for us, unfortunately. If we had enough magic resist or whatever, or health, maybe, to survive, that would have been really... Oh, I can't imagine how much we would have gotten for that. Oh, it would have been great. Yeah, 25,000. That's about what I assumed. Somewhere between 25,000 and 30,000. And this is without having to pay for... Uh, Sir Gr Oh, Sir Grady lived. Oh, never mind. Well, okay. That, that explains why this didn't go quite according to plan there. Okay, well, like I said, we, you know, we could always be spamming quick load and quick save, or quick save and quick load all the time, but I don't, I don't like doing that, so I like living with the mistakes, and this is a game that allows you to do that. I may try stuff every once in a while, and then fall back on a quick save, because I wanted to test it without 
having to pay the dire, dire, dire consequences. So you'll see that occasionally from me, but usually I'll just be like, all right, I got my face rocked in there. That wasn't great. And I'm okay with that. All right, Merlin leveled up like three times. Omar's going to probably level up like seven times. That's two, three, four. All right, Merlin leveled up four times. All right, spell acquisition. Can't afford it, probably. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's only 1,000 gold. Sure. Resorcerer, disbelieve. This spell revealed the true nature of any illusion attacking the party, causing it to instantly vanish. Cool. Mangar's Mind Fist. A higher power mind jab does 3 to 12 points of damage to one foe times experience level of the mage. Target dummy. A magical illusion appears in the party, unable to attack. It will serve to draw enemy attacks to itself. Wind Warrior. The spell will create an illusion of a battle-ready warrior that joins your party. And Word of Fear. This incantation will make a group of your enemies shake in fear, reducing their ability to attack and do damage. Sure. Apparently there's more. Curse. Causes a group of your enemies to fear you greatly, lessening the morale and ability to hit and damage you. So same thing as the fear second sight. The mage will experience heightened awareness, be able to sense stairways, special encounters, spell negation zones, traps, and other unusual occurrences. Much better than the other thing that we have. Kyleran's Vanishing Spell. The mage casts the spell... I'm oh, sorry. The mage casting the spell will turn nearly invisible in the eyes of their enemies. We will have great difficulty in striking them. Okay, it's kind of a, oh crap, we're on the front line spell. Got it. This spell creates an illusion, uh, illusionary wolf to join the party. This and other illusions are only effective as long as the enemy believes them. Depending on power and location, the monster may see through the illusion, cause it to vanish. Okay. And then spell acquisition for Omar. We know these. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. And no, I'm poor. I can't pay. Uh, we'll go and... I mean, we're not going to make a tremendous amount at the blacksmith, but we'll... We'll do some stuff here. Is there anything you need to identify? No. Alright. Sell, sell. Sell, sell. Sell, sell. The halberd's fine. Scale... I think that's all fine. Anyway, let's see. What else? Just a little bit more. We'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to head to the bank, and then we're going to break it off, and we'll continue in the next episode by buying the last group of spell blobs that we can buy, and it will be a glorious and a sweet, sweet, nice situation. I think I'm going to get 13,000 now. I was so ready to potentially need to use that one spell that ate all of our money that uh, I was not prepared for what followed. Uh, now I'm ready to go to the East Gate Tower. All right. And I guess we can just do it right now. Spell acquisition, Omar, pay it, and that's it, right? Yep. All right, we're all set and ready to go for our next adventure. I do hope you folks enjoyed, and uh, things are getting a little bit more uh, difficult, a little bit more spicy, a little bit more insane, but we're here for it. All right, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.